an ordinary 13 amp socket we're going to open it up and uh, we're just going to show you how to actually test the voltage at a socket or check that there's actually a power at a socket there's two maybe three different methods we're going to use so uh, we'll open it up first and we'll take a look brown, blue, earth, we have the live, neutral and earth cables. We're going to try just to check if there's voltage, it's just using uh, an ordinary phase tester. It's probably a quick way of doing it, maybe not the most reliable, but it's just a simple case of touching it onto the live terminal, putting your thumb on the end, and I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there should be a wee glow of light appear in there. Uh, it's maybe not very clear on the video. But uh, that's just a quick indicator. The other thing we'll actually use is like a small meter that detects voltage without even having to touch the live terminals. Uh, you can set it to high and down to low sensitivity. And just by pushing this button here it detects if there's voltage. So you push it and the closer you get it tells you if there's voltage present. It sometimes works through the face plates, so it's a quick indicator to let you know if the socket is live or not. But the best way to probably do that is by using a digital multimeter. Multimeter, uh, and it is definitely by far the most accurate way of testing voltage. Now, what we'll do is set the selector, if you can see that at all on the video, round till you get to voltage. And that little symbol, uh, like a wavy line means AC voltage so it's in the range of about 200 volts general power sockets uh, and voltage in a house will be about 240 volts so you'll see the display there registering 000 what you want to do is take your black and your red which is your live and your neutral touch the live to the brown the black to the neutral and you should see it starting to read now it's obviously over range so Okay, now the range is now uh, set to 600 there, uh, the voltage is below that, and we're getting a reading there of 231 volts. Uh, that is about normal.